everyone today I'm recreating the oh so popular Kylie Jenner look it was requested on my Instagram so I decided to do it I hope you guys enjoy the video first I'm gonna apply the Marrakesh ends to my hair and this is gonna help with my split ends and seriously I need a haircut because I have so many split ends if any of you guys have any haircut suggestions let me know in the comments I am just working it through my hair and then brushing it out. This is my all-natural hair, frizzy, <laughs> but I straightened it out so we can look more like Kylie Jenner. And then I took the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Beach Renewal Beach Spray just to add a bit of texture to my hair because her hair in the picture that I'm looking at wasn't super neat. It was kind of messy looking. So I'm just adding a little bit of texture to my hair. Next, I'm grabbing my Clear Clinic Spot Treatment to treat a blemish. This is cool because you can put it under or over your makeup, but I'm just going to put it underneath. To soften and hydrate my skin today, I am using the Labelin Jojoba Gel Cream. And to soften my lips, I'm using the Pixie Tinted Balm in Unique Pink. This really doesn't have a color, it's just super hydrating. So now for my all-time favorite product right now, it's the Bare Minerals Primetime BB Primer Cream and I'm just applying this before I put my foundation on to fill in all the fine lines and make my skin look nice and smooth. To even out my skin, I'm using the Cover FX Foundation Cream in G40. Now I'm going to put my concealer on in um, from Anastasia in 1.5 and just put that just below my under eye circles. Instead of putting them like directly on top, I put it just below my under eye circles and then I blend it upwards. So let's blend it up. And I'm even going to bring it back to the tops of the cheekbones. Just going to brighten up this area. To set my foundation, I'm dusting on the Cover Effects Pressed Powder in G40. Now I'm taking my Manicadar powder to brighten my under eyes and um, basically using this as extra coverage and a highlight. So I'm just going to take that and put it right under my eyes, bringing it all the way up to the tops of the cheekbones. To make sure that our eyeshadow is smooth, we're going to apply the Manicadar Eye and Lip Primer to the lid space. Using the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette, I'm picking up the color First Love and applying it to the brow, bone, and lid space. For a nice transition, I'm taking the color Soft and Sexy and washing this into the crease. Now I'm picking up Slow Dance and softly blending this on the outer part of the crease. I took a concealer and I just applied it around to where I wanted the shadow to stop. And I got my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush to blend it out and soften the edges. And it worked beautifully for me. Again, I don't know if that's like a professional way to do things, but it worked. So you guys probably should try it. Now I'm picking up the Lord & Berry Kajal Stick to line my lash line. Kylie has a tiny flick of liner, so that's what I'm going to try to create on the outer lash line today. Next, I'm using the Vincent Longo Mascara to lengthen my lashes and make them look fuller. I feel like this mascara does it super easy because it's a dry formula, so it really holds your curl and you can really build on it without it clumping because of the brush is so thin. I just, I love it. Now I'm going to apply some falsies 
and these are from Esquito and I will post them in the description. I'm also going to apply some eyeliner to the bottom lash line. It's okay if it's a bit messy because we're just going to smudge it out anyways. For the inner corners, I'm going for a subtle matte highlight and I'm just using the color Pure from the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette and blending that out. To get Kylie's now famous lip look, I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude and I'm going to go over my natural lip line and fill in my lips to get those nice full lips that she has. To fill in the lips, I'm using Zurich. It's a NYX soft matte lip cream and I'm going to apply that all over the lips. And then I went and put on the color Canes. I don't really know if it made a difference, but I like both of the colors. I couldn't decide so I used them both. They're both soft matte lip creams and this it just created a really natural, beautiful pouty look and it may look like I got lip injections but hey who cares it looks good right <laughs> now I am putting on the bronzer and I'm gonna apply it to the hollow areas of my cheeks and my temples and the sides of my nose Next I'm using the City Color Spotlight Highlighter to get the Kardashian glow. I'm going to apply it on the bridge of my nose and the tops of my cheekbones. For the cheeks, I'm picking up this Dusty Rose Colors from the City Color Palette and applying that to my cheekbones. So at this point in my life, I'm kind of obsessed with highlighting my under eyes and tops of my cheeks. So I took the Boo Boo cover up and applied it over everything else I already have to really brighten up the under eyes. And here I'm taking the model's own nail polish and adding an accent nail. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, thumbs up, and until the next video, bye dollies!